Hello lovely ladies and gentlemen, it is 2021, today we are the 6th of January and this is the first video of the new year. I hope you guys had a good Christmas and New Year, um, or as best as you could have, especially if you were in the UK where uh, <coughs> we were kind of uh, cancelled for the celebrations. But enough of that, I'm trying to be a bit more upbeat this year and get back into um, work and uh, work on some new music and all that sort of stuff. So, last year pop this video out <clears throat> which is uh, on why I deleted all my social media apps from my phone and I found this amazing uh, article from uh, broadbandsearch.net which kind of uh, talked us through um, the amount of time people spend on their phones and social media in general and I figured it wasn't cool it made me kind of um, um, analyze my time online let's say the amount of time I'm spending looking at um, social media on my phone um, since doing this, my screen time has gone down by 54%. Now, we have had some family time, um, and uh, I must admit, I did take some time out as well. So that could be part of it. I just wasn't sort of logging into my bank or whatever. Um, wasn't sort of on the phone as much anyway, because I was chilling out. Um, but I've noticed this week it's come up slightly. I think it's, it's, it's now, but well, it's still, it's come up 12%. So, uh, you know, overall, sort of 40 odd percent, 38, 40 percent less time on my phone. And I don't think that's all down to social media. I think um, social media would, would be the catalyst, though. You'd sort of, you'd want to check whether someone had emailed you back or you want to sort of like see what someone's doing on Twitter or whatever. And then you'd end up like looking at calendar or notes or checking the news. You know, a lot of people, you don't see them go onto one app and then close the phone, do you? They kind of go on a bit of a journey. So in my last video, um, I said that I'd cracked kind of getting all the stuff off of my phone and I was happy going on Facebook and everything else um, from the browser, but I hadn't cracked this bad boy of um, Instagram um, in terms of I couldn't find a way to post or actually use Instagram like basically offline. You had to, you had to, I couldn't post anything until today where I managed to find a way of doing it. Now, this work around um, I'm going to show you should work in Brave, which is built on Chrome, so it will also be the same in Chrome, and I believe in Firefox as well. For Safari, I think there's a few more things like hoops you've got to join through. I think uh, go jump through. Sorry, I can't speak today. Um, so I think you've got to enable like developer mode and all this sorts of stuff. I will try and find the article which assisted me in doing this and post it in the bottom, because um, I believe that does give you the Safari workaround as well. So I like Instagram. Straight away, I've got Sound on Sound up. Um, Jacko Willink does a cool podcast. Avid, always good to follow, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, I like it because, you know, if I like looking at sort of photos like that because I'm a nerd. And um, musicians and artists and bands, like I like sort of seeing them in the studio or seeing a sort of composer's session as they're kind of like working through their, um, uh, their workflow um, and getting little snippets. I quite enjoy the stories at times seeing what kind of, uh, what, what, what people up to, what is Ian up to, you know. Oh, okay, he's in snowy land. You gather it's snowing somewhere, I haven't checked the news because I haven't been on my phone. But um, yeah, wherever he is, more zine, I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, I like, I like Instagram anyway, but I couldn't post. So how do you do this? Let's get to the point, shall we? You right click, and you go inspect, which brings you into this scary looking mental page, right? Do not worry about it. This is the code of Instagram. This is how they've basically coded the page. This did not first come up when I did this. So I had to toggle it, which is that button there where it says toggle. You hover over it. It says toggle device toolbar, right? And then you get this viewer. Now, the eagle eye of you would have already spotted this. Now, what this is, is it basically changes the display of Instagram. So this is what it would look like on an iPad. This is what it would look like on an iPad Pro. Um, and the one I tend to go for is just like the iPhone 10. That's what it looks like on an iPhone 10. Okay, you're thinking, great, thank, thanks for showing me that, Mike. Really, really useful. Like, why, what was going on here? Well, if you press refresh, some things happen. Um, it loads as if it is on an iPhone. So now we've got the home button that you'd be used to. You've got your likes, which you'd be used to. Um, you've got your plus, um, which you tap um, to add a photo. And what it does, if we hit plus, 
let's go to my desktop um i did a podcast with my buddy rick so there he is if i wanted to post a photo of rick which i won't do because he's gonna think why is he why is mike posting a photo of me on his uh, on his personal instagram i could tag him you can tag people you can search for people so i search for ap there he is um you can obviously type your description and you can share it um you can add a location you cannot choose um to um add multiple photos you can only do one photo at a time which kind of sucks and the videos are a bit odd you can do a video um but it has to be in a specific format um so if i try and choose it's going to be a difficult one because i need to find a video that's actually short enough to do it um and uh everything in my portfolio is going to potentially be too long let's try and find like a um apl commercial audio adverts let me just try and find something guys let's try and find like a a, a short a short um their waves probably should have prepared a video for you guys because yeah so there we go we've got some mods there it won't let me do it so i have not cracked the um video side of it yet I will do. I'll find a way of doing the videos. But for the time being, you can, you know, you can put a story up. What's this? Yeah, it's a photo of Isabel Swan. Just did a podcast with her. Please do check it out. So I could put a photo up um, of Iz. I could do some text. Check out, you know, the Izzy podcast. Can't type. Done. Can you move it about? Yes, you can. Um, I gather if you had a trackpad working you could zoom because you've got to think of it in terms of it being an iPhone. Um, so yeah, it's functional in how you would expect um, you know, your your app to work basically. Um, and it means you don't have to go on your phone. You can still double click to like, you can comment. Um, you know, it's literally the same functionality as you'd have on your phone just with a little bit of a few hitches with the, the video. Um, and you can't post multiple photos, you can only post one. You can share though. If I go back to my main page, it's a bit of a rigmarole. If I want to share um, this, congratulations again, Andrea, for the win there, mate. I can share to, I can choose Facebook, and you can share it to Facebook. So while there's an extra step involved there, you know, whereas on your, you know, on your phone or whatever, you can, on your iPad, you can literally just say, I want to share it to these locations, post, and it will do it for you. Unfortunately, you can't do that um, with this process. But overall, um, I think it's better not having to not having to deal with <coughs> going on your phone every two minutes. If we close this with the X at the top right there, it will stay in this mode, which is a little bit sort of irritating. Um, all you got to do is refresh it again with the inspect window closed, and it will take you back to the normal mode which you are used to seeing. Um, so that's what I'm doing now guys with regards to Instagram so so far I've found it fine um, generally speaking it's been quite nice actually in the mornings I've been getting up very early um, and just going on Facebook and sort of checking a few things out I've had to ask a couple of questions on there and yeah like I don't get the information perhaps as quick as I wanted to but you know whatever it's not a problem if I'm working on the computer it's easy you just go to Facebook or whatever uh, go to Twitter or whatever it is you're looking that you're needing to use um, and I've just found if I've had messages, you know, I just get back to people kind of as and when, as opposed to constantly sort of being on call, if you like, on your phone or constantly checking, like, as that person got back to me because I'm waiting on something. Just simply when you, the end of the day or the beginning of the day, in the middle of the day, whatever, you just jump on and you go and check the message. So generally speaking, I, I'd advise it um, to get these apps off your phone. Um, <clears throat> if you've got perhaps better willpower than me, and you can turn off your notifications and not open your app. Um, great, um, but um, yeah, I'd recommend getting uh, getting getting the social media off your phone because these statistics aren't cool. You know, I don't want to spend six years and eight months of my life using social media, um, and uh, that's a prediction they've made based on 2020. Um, I think, given the situation we're in, people are on their phones a hell of a lot. So uh, yeah guys, I just wanted to do that. I will try and post the article down below. I hope that was useful, not the longest video in the world. And again, a little bit off subject of the music. 
Um, I will be posting some more music content very for shortly as I get into my new projects. Again, I hope you had a great time um, over the uh, the, the um, Christmas and, and uh, New Year. Um, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, okay, bye-bye.